guys, welcome back to Blind Strike Exotics. Today we are picking up clutch number eight. Um, it actually came a few days earlier than I thought it was. My girl Annie here, she's my lemon blast. Um, she's actually the first ball python, uh, of the oldest ball python I have in my collection. Um, well, I should say longest stay, not oldest. Um, she laid for me last year and had a clutch of, I think, seven eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it looks like she has seven again this year. Um, and it, the funny story with her last year was usually once they have their pre-lay shed, and then they uh, usually lay about 30 days later. And I didn't know if she was actually going to lay for me last year because of how long it took her to lay because she was like, I think maybe like three weeks past due before her egg, she actually laid her eggs. But she had a clutch of seven eggs, maybe one slug. Um, it was a fantastic clutch. And she's actually two days early this time. Um, but the eggs look fantastic. One, two, three, four. She actually, I think she has seven eggs again in one slug. Um, now I'm going to need to separate the eggs because they're too high. She has them all piled up high. And she looks like she's empty. Um, so, and she looks like she's bucking around too. And she's huffing and puffing and... <laughs> Not very happy. So let me uh, distract her. Let me make sure she's empty. She looks very empty. Let me get her up here out of the way. And I'm going to grab the eggs. She definitely, she piled them high, that's for sure. Yeah, there's one little slug on the bottom. Um, and it's kind of funny that she laid the same exact amount as she did last year, <laughs> including the one, the one slug. So I'm going to get her back in her tub and she's awesome. She's obviously one of my favorite snakes because I've had her forever, it seems like. And we have our, a nice, nice clutch of eggs here. Maddie, you going to come in? Come here. You can come in now. I told Maddie she had to wait, wait outside just while the uh, while the Annie was outside. I didn't want her to get bit. Dad, look at that egg. Look how big they are. Here, you want the little tiny one? That's a bad egg. They call it a slug. Slug. Yeah, so you can hold that one, okay? Okay. But Daddy has to take these apart because they do they don't fit in the egg box. No, you can hold that one, okay? Keep that one out. Because that's not, that's a bad egg. It doesn't fit. So this one was just kind of laying loose there on the side. Um, I'll try to show you guys that one's loose too. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, no, leave that one out. That's a bad egg. So when you peel them again, you kind of just want to rock it back and forth. Unfortunately, it looks like she laid these probably a while ago because they were really stuck but you just want to kind of rock them back and forth like as gentle as you can because you don't want to rip the eggs and ouch Ooh, yeah ouch you don't want to rip them and i'm probably going to need to candle all these because you know after peeling them apart um i don't know I the can't orient. open it you're gonna hold that one because that, that's a bad egg. We're not gonna keep that one. Maybe we'll maybe we'll cut it open too and show everybody what it looks like on the inside. You wanna do that? Yeah. We'll do that since I'm done with these eggs. Hey, look at that. It's a big so, egg. It is a bigger one. So typically when they're laying their eggs, if you're gonna have to separate them and put them in an egg box, if you can, the sooner you get them, the better. Because Typically, um, they're like really easy to take apart if they are fresh. Don't, yeah. don't touch these ones, okay? Typically, they're easier to peel apart there when they're fresh. There's this one. That's okay. They're all gone. That's all of them. Typically, they're easier to peel apart when they're fresh. Um, when they've been together longer, that like adhesive that keeps them together sets, and it makes it really hard to pry them apart. Um, I've never ripped an egg, but I usually... Usually, if you get them in the first couple hours after they're laid into this, here, honey, um, they're really easy to pry apart. So just try to get to them really early. We actually have to have to look for the babies inside the eggs, okay? okay. So we're gonna do that next. 
All right, we're gonna candle the eggs now, okay? Okay. We gotta put the light up to them to see where the babies are. Here, watch. Okay. Alrighty, so this one. I like this one. Yeah, you like the little tiny one. Yeah, I want this one, so it's really nice. Ouch! Ooh, do you see the little babies in there? You see those little veins? Yeah, I see all the little veins. How cool is that? Oh. Wait, don't touch the don't touch this one, okay? <laughs> okay, don't touch that one, honey. Here, hey, that's mine. Don't touch those, okay? Because those are the good eggs. Hey, please get out of there. Don't touch this. Maybe. You won't you'll never be able to see this one, but on this one, there's like a little black dot right here where my finger is. Um, that's the embryo. Sometimes that little black dot isn't really easy to see. Um, but it is on that one, so... My two, my two, my two. If you see a little black floating dot in the egg, that's your embryo. I'm trying to show you, it's, it's really hard to pick up in here, especially because it's not, it's not pitch black and there's a window in here that I can't close off. Um, Maddie, you don't play with the, don't play with this marker, okay? Because I gotta mark the eggs. I did it. Okay. Don't, no, don't touch the marker anymore, okay? Because I got you. Daddy has to do that, okay? Alright, so we got. Wow! Four good ones so far. Say so four good eggs. Look at eggs, the every So we have so many good eggs, huh? See. So many, many eggs, the every the soon the every the men and look about it anymore. Oh, yeah? We have a cow. I don't know what you're saying, sweetie. What? Oh, I couldn't. Okay. Here. No, leave this out. We're not putting this one in there. That's a bad egg. It doesn't go in here, okay? That's a bad one. Mm. We're going to open that one up and see what's inside. Okay. So this going to be sort of gross. When it's in my turn, my turn. Alrighty. So look at that. Those are all good eggs. All right, so this is a slug. Um, it is maybe about half the size or less of a normal fertile egg. Um, basically, it's just an infertile egg. It is like ex it's extremely hard. Um, I can show it. It's extremely hard. Um, and it's usually discolored too. Like this is kind of almost like a darker brownish yellow color, um, and they're just just you can you can point them out pretty quickly when you are, um, you know, looking at a, at a good fertile egg. So I don't need that flashlight. It's gross. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut you cut this open and show you guys what is in there. Um, it was in there. Oh, we're gonna see. Hold on. Let's open it up. Ooh, I like that. You like that? Here, let's see. Let's do a science experiment, huh? Okay. Okay, let's move this a little closer. Okay, I like that microphone. It's fuzzy, huh? It's really fuzzy. It's a fuzzy microphone. I'm really Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, so here's the... Now it's gonna hurt. Oh, it's not gonna hurt. Oh, ew. What is that? Ew, look at that. Don't touch it. That's caca. Look how gooey that is. What's that? Um, so, this is, when it's infertile, it's like um, the goo inside is almost like a lot thicker than uh, like one of the fertile eggs. Um, it's really caca, huh? What's in there? It's just like a thick it's almost like a gelatin, like a. <laughs> I'm a fan of Cadbury no, cream eggs. In there. That's gross. It's just a bad egg. I'm a fan of Cadbury cream eggs. Um, this will make some people sick, though. This is kind of the same consistency of a Cadbury cream egg on the inside. Um, they be. It's almost about the same size too. Um, so it, it's pretty that. gross. No smell. Doesn't smell like anything yet. I'm sure as it decides, as it. Uh, yeah. It starts as it starts to go bad. I'm sure it probably smells like something. Man, um, so this is the 
the bad egg here after it's cut open. Um, yeah, don't, put the, no, don't put the flashlight in there. And this is the leftover goo. I guess what would have been the, kind of like the, I guess the egg white. Um, it is just like. Dad, don't touch it. It's like, uh, it's like a real, <laughs> real thick boogery some <laughs> substance. It's kind of, kind of gross. Okay, my turn. Do you want to touch? Yeah. Go ahead. I'll, have to wipe, I'll wipe your hand off. What does it feel like? Gushy. This feels gushy? Yeah, it's really gush. It's really gushy? Uh, uh, it's really, really... Does it feel good? Here, I'll whip you off. Here. Does it feel gushy? Yeah, it's really gushy. Is it cool or is it gross? Really yucky gush. It's gross? Really. Yeah. It's really yucky and gross? Yeah. Okay, well, I want the big one. A big one? What? That. Ew, go ahead. They, I really like that. Go ahead, touch it. They, you turn. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty gross, huh? Eww. Look how thick it is. Don't, don't, don't put that in your mouth. It's gross. Okay. It's a caca. It's a bad egg. Here, let's wipe it off. I'm going to clean it up, okay? It's a big one. It's a really big one. It's a really, really, really big one, huh? It's a really big <laughs> one. Alright, so that is it. Let me get in camera here. That is it for today. Um, I wanted to show you uh, what a slug looks like. That's actually the first slug that I've had. I touched it. You touched it. Was it what was it like? What did it feel like? Yummy. Yummy? Yeah. <laughs> Gross. I hope not. Um, I want to show you guys what a slug looked like on the inside. Um, it's kind of a neat thing. You know, I don't, That's actually the first one I've had. It's really yummy. No, yucky. It's yucky. Only for eat. No, you don't eat that. That's caca. I need food um, upstairs. You eat the eggs upstairs. Those are from chickens, though. Those aren't from snakes. Those are chicken eggs. Oh, I like them where they have what you find. Do you like the chicken eggs? Yep. My name would love dinner. You want chickens for dinner? Yep, I um, really, really like that. You really like them? Yep, I really like it. They're so yummy. So, that's what the inside of a, uh, a slug looks like. It's thick and that gross. I like that. See, it doesn't smell like anything though. I'm sure as it starts to rot, if you left it there long, I'm sure it would. It doesn't smell. It doesn't smell. Alright, that is it for today's video. May, can you, can you look in there and say bye? Bye. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs> See you guys. See you guys.